Welcome back to the Weird and Proud Podcast. It's Sam and... Holy shit. <laughs> I've been practicing. No kidding. Right? Wow. I know. I'm blown away. Right? That I mean, was. I should make that like a full song. I even get to like listen to you sing sometimes when you practice. But and that, that was, was pretty good. Really good. Right? Yeah. That was impressive. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you all had a great week. James. Oh, shit. It's all right. I snuck it in. I forgot about you. For I a thought sec. the listeners I got would appreciate so blown you away by been, your You should have been. You should have been more in, like, proud of yourself. Yeah. In a selfish way, you should have. Yeah, that was and that I was. good. And I was. Hell yeah. And it's I like was. scoring the game winning touchdown. It's all about you. Exactly. Football. Who cares? Take a shot every time I reference football. No. Today don't because we're not starting that you'll take no shots interception <laughs> you'll take zero shots that's another then. one <laughs> um hi everyone uh, we've got a great episode for you as always we've got a lot of weird things to discuss a lot of weird things in the news that it's our job as weird correspondents to give you that news and to uh, chat about it excuse me yeah we need to talk about that more that's an amazing thought weird correspondence yeah the weird correspondence you're on fire today. i know like i'm kind of like i had an energy drink which is just probably not a good thing <laughs> but um which i don't really need an energy drink at this time but you know Get what you a few more of those i know i'm for those who aren't on the youtube i am drinking a prime which is like i think it's logan paul's to do i think it's isn't it Jake Paul? I can't remember which yeah, one is which. It's one of those guys. Um, but I tried it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Feeling energized. Um, we got a great show for you. A lot of great things happening in the world. Um, you know, we're gonna touch base on the Romans. We're going to chat about some weird news stories. We got lots of alien stuff. We've got um some cursed things. We've got um some also just like scientific facts that i feel like everyone needs to know about and breaking news stories breaking this just weird is news stories. i thought since we're weird what? news correspondents i would throw a breaking news segment in there yeah no, like that gorgeous. i was practicing it All also right. if you're watching i am now holding the mic so a couple people have messaged me about this and i know i think i touched upon this last episode but i know sometimes my voice is soft which is weird like no one's ever complained that my voice is too soft but we have like these little mic holders and i feel like i just turn my head too much between looking at you looking at my phone can we get for like headsets? the new stuff can we what get awesome headsets <laughs> no no james wants headsets and it's like real nerd no it doesn't it headsets. just it looks weird if we have headsets on um so i'm now holding the mic so i'm going to make sure that like i keep my voice into the mic so it, it doesn't like get taken away you mean it looks on brand it looks weird yeah so it looks yeah. on brand oh true only if we got like really weird yeah headphones. i want like a space helmet Ooh, i'll think about it um, we also got a weird watch, some Scientology stuff I've been watching, and of course, we have some amazing weird voicemails from you Secrets. guys. Secrets! So, James, how how are you? You hanging in there? Sports, great. The sports are sporting, no, so James is in a not, good place. Not in a great place because of it today, but oh, okay. that's okay. Oh, your teams aren't. The teams, the teams aren't. The teams teaming. are okay. 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 Um, we've been little gymnasts lately. We've been really working on our craft, you know, like if we're going to be doing these challenges and some of them, I feel like we've done so many now that like really the ones left are like the hard ones. <laughs> and we've been going to the gym gymnastics. We've been going to the gym and we've been working on our fitness. We've been hanging out with the 18 year olds who show us up every time. They're like trained gymnasts. Trained gymnasts. And, but we've been keeping up. Like, I think, like, honestly, like, some of them were, like, a little nervous when they saw, like, that I, we were going to be. I just love to jump in, in the, the spongy ring. pit. The spongy pit. The sponge pit. Also, if you, by the way, if you Google gymnastic classes near you, I can't recommend enough going to a gymnastics class or just, like, looking up things that you love to do as a kid and doing them now as a grown adult. And, you know, the haters, and I feel like this is with kids, like kids that are like, you know, grow up, you're an adult. But you know what? Don't grow up. Don't be an adult. Fight as much as you can to stay young and to hang with the kids and to do a gymnastic class. Go to a dance class. 
we actually that might spoiler alert be our next thing i'm like what else could we do to really just like push the boundaries you know to push push ourselves physically and mentally and I said, we should take a dance class. So we're trying to also look for dance classes, which I think would be really fun. We've done a strip class before. We Remember have done we did a strip the, class. The pole, the pole dancing class. Correct. That was really fun. Oh, I need to bring that back. We should do another one of those. That was really fun. James Slade, as per usual. I'm a good stripper. He really is. You could have been a stripper. You could, if anything ever, you know, back, go sell. You got to have backup plans. You got to always have a plan B. So, um, without further ado, James, there's something that I also really need to talk to you about. What's that? And it's the Roman Empire. So I can't stop thinking. I've never. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. You say now you can't stop thinking about it. I've never stopped thinking about it. So this all started on TikTok. With As the Roman, most things do. The Roman Empire came way before TikTok. Well, some might say the Roman Empire started on TikTok. You never know. Um, but there was basically this trend that was like this woman going on and being like, I, I don't even know like whose first idea it was. This is something that just like went viral so quickly that like, you know, it's like hard to pinpoint the origin. But um, there was this woman who came on and was like, do you know that men are constantly thinking about the Roman Empire? Like, go ask your you know, male partner, how often they think about the Roman Empire. And, of course, every woman in America was blown away at how often their male partners think about the Roman Empire. And, James, you answered every day. Absolutely. And, you, and by the way, James does not, like, you're not really, like, you never go on TikTok. No. Very, very rarely. And it's not like you're on, like, looking at trends. Like, if you're going on social media, you're I looking did not at sports. Know that trend. So you didn't know. No. Like, you, all the guys didn't get together no and idea. say, hey, when, you know, our no. women come and ask this, we're all going to say every day. So you almost instantly said every day. Like, no questions, no hesitation. Yep. So what do you, th what do you think it is that men love the, like, think about it so often? I thought about that answer. I thought about that you were going to ask me that, right? Yeah. And you kind of answered what I was wondering. Where did started. all this start? Yeah. I would love to find out how that, because that's really cool. It's a really cool question. It is. It's funny. I think it comes down to it's, it's a very, it's, it's portrayed in society as a very manly thing. Yes. The Roman Empire. Yes. Like very masculine. And I, um, you know, there's feminine and masculine and both males and females have sides of me feminine and masculine. So please excuse my language. We'll be very much focused on the masculine side of things. Yep. But when it comes to like ancient civilizations and taking over the world, like you could probably do the same thing with Genghis Khan and say, how often do you think about Genghis Khan? And I, I would say like all the time. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan was ruler of the Mongolians and probably owned the majority of the land. You do not know who Genghis Khan is? James, you also need to think that like not everyone is like a huge nerd. I think the Genghis Khan thing would take off like crazy. <laughs> I don't think anyone I want Genghis people Khan commenting is. on YouTube or send it to Sam. Tell her about Genghis Khan because Genghis Khan was a so badass. like these warriors, like yeah. He's a, yeah, ancient warriors. Yeah, so the that Roman is a Empire, very man thing. but the Roman Empire also. There's been the movie Three Hundred was huge. I about think it. about that. Too, there was a workout movies. circled around it. One yeah. of my favorite parts of the Roman Empire is Little Caesars Pizza. God, I wish we had a Little Caesars Pizza oh. closer to us. So Little Caesars is so underrated oh, so as underrated. a franchise pizza pizza brand. It's mm, so underrated. So true. So true. But then Justice just. For Listen. There's also been other newer documentaries. HBO tried to do like a what was supposed to be a somewhat real docu series on it, but it was very action packed, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you look at um, the Gladiator, took yeah. place right around the Roman Empire, and there's just been so many things to talk so about. So manly it. things, and our modern government, a lot of our modern government system, our modern calendar. So many things got filtered through that, right? Yep. The Roman Empire also connected to the Catholic and Christianity in yeah. general, yep. right? There's just so many connections to it. I think that when you ask us, it'll be like, oh, yeah, I should be thinking about that all the time. So we kind of answer, yes, I've been thinking about that a lot. Right, right. It's more that, like, men should. If There's like my final men. answer. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided whether I should tell you we should be or I wanted to well, explain why. Well, that's the why. whole, you know, yeah. now people are like, are men really thinking about it or do they think they need to be thinking about it? I think it's that. You know. Which I'm perfectly okay with. Yeah. Um, 
it is. Inter- I mean, all roads lead to Rome, as they say. When in Rome. When in Rome. Um, and it's not like, you know, I think for women, it's just. How often do you think about going to Italy? Well, I don't. I mean, I think about it every day because I'm taking Italian lessons on Duolingo. There you go. And I have a 58-day streak. Not to brag. Ho studiato italiano per quattro mesi a frente. How about that? And you're calling me a nerd. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically what you I said. You don't even know who Genghis Khan <laughs> is. Um, but, like, for women, like, I was trying to think, like, what the woman equivalent is to that. And, like, I think for women, it's, like, we think about being murdered. Witches. And killed. Yeah, witches. Witches. Like, I was trying to think of something, like, really, like, a feminine. Magic, or, like, we think of Britney spir- Spears. Magic spirituality that... Yeah, like genre. the universe. Yeah, power, there you vibes, go. Vibes, yeah. Oh, universe, there you go. Murder and murder. The sign thing, like following. Yeah, you, I would love to know sign that. Numbers. Who follows the, you know, what astrology more? Not astronomy, oh, which is real astrology. Women oh, wow. do more. Hurtful, hurtful. <laughs> Shots fired. Um, Women, right? Yeah. There. That's what it is. And when we go into like. And not that it's a bad thing. Again, the feminine and masculine. Yeah. Not, let's maybe we just stick with that language. Yes, it's more. Overall. Which plenty. I have plenty of things that I might find interesting that other guys don't find interesting. Right? Yeah, because you're a nerd. Some guys think that men who cook that, that wasn't always a masculine thing. Right. But I've True. always loved cooking, so that was more. And my, some people think traps and big shoulders are manly thing when really they're, no, they're just awesome. <laughs> yeah. Exactly being small and weak so again this is a great question that kind of explores that feminine and masculine yeah yeah maybe you have the idea and i don't know how to say it my guess would be astrology and the spirituality yeah i said witches right away because it's almost halloween right yeah. but that witchy vibes realm i would yeah i would agree i would agree and it is it's like you know again it's more for like what we think we should be thinking as you know like what maybe the question we should start by or for women is how often do you think the universe is shaping your day Ooh, wow that's a big that's a big thinker or like how often do you think about being murdered i would say between (laughs) being murdered and spirit like yeah like the universe let's vibes, start a poll good vibes listeners vibes. let us know which should we do which should we start for a viral question yeah. for women how but i think how often do you think about being murdered i think about it every day i think for guys you could do how often do you think about like world war ii that, might that was come up someone as well. you know what's funny is that someone else had like a lot of guys responding like i don't think about the roman empire but i think about like world, world war, war II. yeah like my there's been I watched so many documentaries over yeah. the years on World War Two. Yeah. yeah. Well, also some was saying too with like sports, like it's a you know like so much, especially with football. You know, watching these sports of like these big men like pummeling each it's other, gladiator stuff, gladiator, you know, vibes, gladiator vibes. So just funny, just that's little, a movie you know, we should things. rewatch, Gladiator. That was a good movie. That movie scared me. It did? Yeah. Because yeah. when it came out, I feel like, what I wonder when, when that came out. That was probably in middle school. Like, yeah, probably 2000, early 2000s. Because they, to like, be cut off someone's head. And, like. Oh, yeah, they did all those things. It was, like, really graphic when it first yeah, came out. Yeah, you don't like the graphic. You like the ghost evil. I like ghosts and evil. <laughs> See, there's the spiritual side and right. men like the yeah, graphic go- side. I know. Wow. Wow. We really solved a lot of things today. We really did. Okay. Well, check that one off our list. Um, So for some weird news stories. Now, I found two. They were like, wow, these are so right up my alley that I didn't know which one to go with. So we're going to talk about both of them quickly because they're kind of quick ones. But I saw this one and I think about this all all the time. <laughs> Another thing I think about. Ah. Um, not all the time, but I think about, but like when it comes and happens, I'm always like, why does that happen? Because I do this and I know I do it, you know, before I'm falling asleep, especially in like certain situations. But I know that you do this a lot. And it's why people twitch in their sleep. And, you know, it's funny how like, you know, I feel like I do it more on airplanes. You know, what's funny is like I'll notice me doing it, and like I always, I was trying to look up if there's a reason for that in like different situations. I have a theory. What you're in a lighter sleep state in the airplane, 
so you don't you're notice not it. In a deep sleep. The twitch wakes you up, but when you're in a lighter sleep state, you're already kind of half awake, so you have a little more awareness yeah. of the real world. Why? Um. Why? Do, so let's hear this. Why do you think we twitch in our sleep? Then, do you have any? You know what's funny? I don't know the exact answer, but I may venture a guess. What is this a reputable news source, or is this like the New York Post? <laughs> Uh, it's the, this say? is from the New York Post, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's from the New York That's Post okay. about a doctor. Okay, as long as somebody reputable got it. I would say that the reason we twitch is because we stop breathing. Oh, okay. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I got so many ads pop up when I'm on this. So there is a Maryland doctor who explains why we twitch, and he says, um, it is basically a confusion with the brain. Okay. Um, a theory for why this even exists is our brains get confused when our muscles relax and they almost think we're falling. Like when our body is completely relaxed. I have the falling dream all the time. Do you? I used to have it more. There's so much cat hair on I know. I can see it. Um, I think sleeping, since I've been with you, I actually have that dream less. I think with somebody yeah, there. Men sleep better with women. Menu awareness, you know yeah. That? I didn't and know women that. sleep better with dogs. So it's kind of like a circle. That's of why life. we have Prue there. <laughs> I know. Women sleep worse with other people, but they sleep better with dogs. Really? So like, I am better. Yeah, you sleep better with me, <laughs> and then I sleep better with Prue. <laughs> Boo boys. Um, but yeah, and normally they, it'll also be accompanying, accompanying, accompanying. That's a oh, tough word to yeah. say. Yeah, accompanying. Accompanying. Right? Um, with the sensation of feeling like you're falling or having a dream that you feel like you're falling. So he says that they also can be caused by stress and the consumption of simulants close to bed. Like oh, if you're I do drinking drink a, a lot, lot of, of coffee. coffee during it. I don't drink it late at night, but I drink enough caffeine that it can. it's probably still in my or system. Or alcohol. Yeah. Happens a lot with alcohol. It's estimated that more than 75% of the population does this in one form or another. So most oh, people, most do, people this. do it. Yeah, that's not. Um, but the re- but the scientific name for it is hypnic myoclonus. And it's a sudden involuntary muscle movements during sleep phases and it occurs in a shift from light sleep to deeper sleep. Yeah, there, I knew that one. So well. they're likely to happen as um, as you first begin to fall asleep and during the light sleep stage of sleep, going into like a deeper sleep, it's light enough that your brain may interpret it as wakefulness and it recognizes your muscles aren't moving. So it leads your brain to send a message to your muscles as sort of like a check in. Turn them on. To be like, hey, are you. Same reason why our alive? cats check on us. Yeah. <laughs> well, they more check on us because they want food. Did it say anything about if somebody has a fear of heights? Does it happen? No. More? I used to wonder that. that. I used to wonder if I had it, like it that often dream. because no. I don't like heights. No, but um, yeah, it's kind of like a, you know, it's like like a check in with your brain to be like, yo, why are we not moving? You know, and you Makes can remember sense. them and wake them up when you're in like a lighter stage of sleep versus like if you're in a deeper sleep, you might not you know notice it that makes perfect sense. but um but yeah kind of a fun little fact right i always wondered that and i always was like why do we do that and i would notice especially because you always fall asleep on the couch you're a big fall asleep on big, the couch i fall asleep on the couch all the time and i'll you know and it always like scares me and it's you're just passed out. I'm just checking so in with myself interesting so fun fact next time that happens or if you want to just like tell people about it um and just you know give a little fun fact um all right here's the other article that i wanted to talk about because this also just is very on brand with spooky season with weird stuff paranormal stuff so i saw this article that a cursed painting with a quote-unquote creepy aura that was purchased for $25, resells for $2,000 because it was listed as haunted or cursed. So one woman had bought this for $25. Her name was Zoe. She bought this. It was basically, it's, like, it's a portrait of like this young woman, of like a young girl. And that's it. It's just like a portrait of this young girl. And she bought it at just like a flea market. She bought it, brought it home. 
Um, and her 68 year old mother loved it. Um, she was like transfixed by it. She find her like just staring at it. And um, as soon as she brought it in the house, a series of strange things started happening. So she says that um, as soon as she brought it in the house, she would notice like in the like her, she never had issues and never thought her place was haunted or like never felt creepy vibes there before. But she said once she brought it in the house, her mom, who had already had signs of dementia and like wasn't really doing that well, um, her health took a really bad turn. She would like collapse randomly and would pass out. She would have like these crazy hot flashes and she just would have really big issues sleeping, which she never would have before. And in the middle of the night, she woke up and her mom was just standing in front of this portrait, just like petting the face of this girl in the portrait. And she said that they would hear random knocks on the door in the middle of the night. It was just them two in the house she said they would hear all types of noises. She said they went for a walk and they were walking home and they noticed this big black figure like standing in front of the house. Um, and they like ran away from the house, like being like, what the hell was that? Um, she also said that she tried to like have some like a priest like fix the curse, but didn't it, work. It made it even worse. Oh, pissed off the whatever pissed it was off the the Entity. curse of the painting. Yep. And so she, you know, at one point she was just like, "All right, I gotta like sell this back, like, and try and bring this back." But the flea market wouldn't take it. They're like, "We're not taking that. We've heard bad things about it." Yeah. Hell yeah, that sell that for a profit. Right. So she ended up like, you know, went online and put on eBay that this is this haunted painting and someone bought it for two thousand dollars. Good for her. Right. But like how crazy she said she's going to like split the proceeds with whatever, some charity, but um she this painting is really creepy. If you look it up, like, you'll... Hold on. Let me see if I can, like, show it on here. Let me see if I can show it to you. This is, like, her with the painting. If you go on and just look at the curse, can you see it or the, did on, ads pop up? Pop, God I damn it. The there are so many ads on this website. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, it's just, like, this old creepy portrait of this young girl. I have a back... Oh, sorry. Continue. What? No, continue. Well, that, that was pretty much it. Just that... And... You know, there are a lot of things, like actual, like physical things like this, that I feel like are definitely haunted. I like one of my friends from college got this really creepy mirror once. Like mirrors, I've heard too, can have a lot of spooky shit attached to them because of like, you know, the idea that people are looking into them and, you know, can really like put their energy into mirrors that can you know stay attached to the mirrors so i've heard i'm like terrified like i would never buy a mirror that's been like used like i would never go to like an antique store or and buy like, a used mirror. yeah because i just like yeah like think of all the people that have looked in that like freaky i've got a little backup to that one okay let's hear it this one, I remember when I said I've heard something like yes, this when we were discussing yes. it. Yeah. Well, this one is the, this is the one. It's called The Crying Boy. Oh. And on, on the 24th of October, 1985, a family in Britain lost yeah. their home to an unexplained flyer, fire. Yeah. But The Crying Boy, displayed in their living room, was unmarked on either side. And even though it had been completely consumed by flames. There's been documentaries Whoa. about this. And even in this article was written in June 25th, 2022. So even 1985, that yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. This painting depicts a crying boy. It seems that the painter had the idea to paint an image of a crying child who's waiting for food or water. It says whoever keeps the painting in their home, the crying boy brings destruction. And it <gasps> sounds like that potentially this crying boy was painted based on an artist who painted a boy who was uh, homeless by himself. And then his studio that he painted it in was destroyed by fire. 
Like there's a potential connection. What? So look up the crying boy. It's somewhere in one of these weird documentaries we caught one time. What? My weird brain that remembers things remembers that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know if I would like ever buy like an old creepy painting or mirror like you know artwork. I feel like because you're also like a lot of like like they're painting real stuff. Like same thing with this portrait of this girl. I was trying to look and see if they had any information on who it was, but. You know, especially if this is like a girl who passed away in a bad way and now her energy is attached to the... Are we ready for a movie recommendation based on this? What? Get the pens and papers out. Okay, get your pens and papers out. Or notes on a tablet and or phone. Okay, Whatever level of technology you're at. Yep. Velvet Buzzsaw. Velvet Buzzsaw. 2019 Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Huh, I've never even heard of it. It's kind of a horror movie. It's based on... Kind of the idea, and I don't want to give too much away, but it's based on kind of the idea of haunted paintings. So I'm just giving the movie rec. I'm not going to give any more. Velvet Buzzsaw. Check it out. It's probably still on Netflix. Really good movie. Interesting. Um, There, what was the other, like a lot of like dolls too, of course, are like big. That was from The Conjuring. Yeah, Conjuring. Also, remember we went to this fort in Fort Lauderdale. Was it Fort Lauderdale? Yes. We know we were in the Keys. What was it? Oh, yeah. It was in the Keys. Yep. And there they was- had the creepy doll in the glass. Yeah. Like bulletproof glass thick. Bulletproof glass. Like, that's another thing. Dolls. So fucking creepy. Um, Annabelle is the name of one of the dolls. One of, yeah, there's been a lot of creepy not, dolls in the, the world. That's not the one in Fort- No, but no. we went to this fort in Key West. It was like one of the oldest forts. All apparently super, super haunted. And- they had this doll. I can't even remember why the doll was there. Why the doll was at this fort. Will you look that up? Yep. Keep going. But um, we, you know, of course, like anytime we're anywhere, <laughs> anytime we go anywhere, I look up like haunted places in that city or town. And we're in Key West. This was six, seven years ago. And there's this fort we went to. And they had this doll that like looked like a somewhat normal doll but it was or it was more like a teddy bear oh no bear. it was creepy i can't remember uh, yep i got what, it what, yeah, yeah robert the doll robert. i remember and he look him up right now yeah we gotta start putting pictures oh on my god i know i know robert I know. the doll robert the doll super creepy looking what why was he there do you remember he was just a young boy in the early 1900s when his family's maid gave him a strange straw filled doll to play with yep gene was the name of the child loved the life-size doll and brought it everywhere naming it robert after himself it wasn't long however that people began noticing signs of robert the doll's evil and mischievous nature as rumor has it the Ottos and their servants would often hear Gene in his bedroom having conversations with himself mm. in two entirely different voices. <gasps> Furthermore, the Ottos would wake up in the middle of the night to see Gene screaming, n- only to find the frightened boy in bed surrounded by overturned furniture. Gene would blame right. Robert the doll for messing his bedroom up, while Robert would glare at Gene from the foot of the bed. Yeah. Soon after, mutilating mutilated toys and mysterious happenings Mm -hmm. would appear in the home only to have gene proclaim each time robert did it though the autos didn't quite believe gene it was reported that they could hear the eerie sound of robert giggling around the house yeah and passers-by even claimed to see a small doll moving from window to window robert was eventually moved to the attic where he remained for a number of years yeah I can't. I think they just maybe had it there because they were in Key West. Maybe like it was kind of random that this doll was there, but like it was so cursed that yeah, they had like this. It was like a bulletproof case that this doll was in, and there were like some people like even if like you're in this fort, you know, like at night, like you can hear laughter from this doll. You could hear noises coming from where this doll was. It was like one of the most haunted items like i feel like we've this is one of the been... more haunted ones we've been around yeah and it's that a creepy was creepy it's doll. yeah i was gonna say that that one i remember that one is that was creepy um creepy it's spooky season we need to go back to key west that reminds me i was gonna say that after the show but you yeah. just said it yeah um if we got any key westers out there let yes, us know we'll invite come visit. us invite us to your house we will bring the giggles and the good times i want more conch more conch, the more conch key lime was pie delicious. is what I want. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so those are your weird news stories for the week. Um, also, just for like a for a weird watch before we get into the weird secrets. Um, I well we basically how this started with this whole like Danny Masterson case, right? With this, you know, everyone knows about this Danny Masterson case. He's you know was put away for 30 years for sexually assaulting two women i think even more whatever he's put away he's part of scientology right and there was also all these rumors with the myla and ashton thing that they had written his letters because like on behalf of danny masterson because they were getting blackmailed by by the scientology or like Scientology was like behind it somehow, which is on brand for Scientology. Which is on brand, and you know, whenever people talk about Scientology, it's like I like I know I know Scientology is a religion, but like I don't really know much about it. And a lot of people, whenever I post documentaries or you know docu series, people are like, "You need to watch the Scientology series that Leah Remini does," but it's very detail oriented. Like it's really like talk about a deep dive. Like there's three seasons of the show. Um, They go back, I think the first one is like 2017, so like, or maybe even earlier, 2016, and they're 12 episodes, like it's, and each one is an hour long, so like these are really, really in-depth looks at stories from people who, you know, escaped and survived Scientology, Um, also like, she kind of does a deep dive, you know, we're kind of like getting into it now where she's really describing what Scientology really is, but We've been watching it. It is, it's definitely one of those where, like, you, it's, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of information, and obviously it's long. It's a time commitment, but it's really, really interesting. We have been watching it. Um, the thing is, too, is it's, like, not free or streaming anywhere. So, of course, I freaking <laughs> paid fourteen ninety nine to watch the first season on Amazon Prime is where we've been watching it. Um, I think you can also watch it if you have the premium subscription of Hulu. But um, it's really, it's just crazy, you know, watching and, like, learning about this quote-unquote religion that is just, like, so much not like a religion. Like, it almost feels like, it's like a, well, it's, yeah, a call, basically. But it's, it's so funny it's being labeled as a religion because... From what I've le- been learning, which I just think is so interesting, is, like, they don't really believe in a god. Like, there's not... Oh, they, they do. Who is it? Oh, you'll find Ron out. Ron Hubbard? No, you'll find Dave? out. Dave? Oh, no, you'll find out. Why? You say it. It's Tell an me. alien spirit. Oh, the aliens. Yes. They They're absolutely just starting to get into that. It. It, you don't have to believe in a god to be marked as a religion. This I know, but that's, like, what you think is, like, praise to the, God, like, God will say, you know, it's like when there's the, not, like, a... That's not what they do. Here's the simple explanation. Yeah. Follow the money. They're well, a religion. Yes. Religions can be marked as religious and their tax breaks. They're brilliant business people. And L. Ron Hubbard, as we you see in the series, there's a leader who takes over after L. Ron Hubbard that really made it a lot worse than what it yes. originally was. Yes. But it's just it's a brilliant tax. I, I just hate to say it this way. There are there might be people who are Scientologists listening to this, and maybe they found a lot of benefit from them. I'd from it. Okay, I'd love to hear. If you are in Scientology, I need you to message me immediately. Because there's plenty of people that have a really probably a really good experience with it, and huh. that's so. On some level, that's okay. Look yeah. at the Catholic Church; they have a little bit of scandal behind them too. Yeah, I know. Are I they know. a religion? They still are. Well, it's more that like, yeah, it's so expensive. Like, to work your way up the ranks and, like, to become, like, the ultimate Scientologist, you need hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's the difference with a religion. They don't follow the same st- – I don't believe – I could be wrong on this, but as far as the government investigating, yeah. it's a different level of accountability that they have. So yes. they can get away with more stuff, which they still obviously are. Yeah. Well, it, and that's what's crazy, too, is that it's still a thing. There's still huge celebrities that are involved in it. And it is just the most wild, quote unquote, religion. Like, they, I, and for those, like, if you don't know much about it, which I didn't, like, I feel like a lot of people don't really know exactly what it is. Do you want me to remind you what people need to watch? 
What? Another recommendation. What's another Get your pens and papers out. If you really want to know what they believe in Scientology, and again, to people who are Scientologists, please I call really, in. I'd love if, to. I, I want to hear the good sides. Anyone Scientologist? Nothing on gets here. this big without some form of a good side to it. Right. And I get the connotation, yes, but yes. nothing gets this big without some form of a good sign. Of course. But if you really want to learn what Scientology believes in, watch South Park episode nine. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to watch that. season nine, episode twelve. Okay, I've we'll seen it many times. It, it one thing about South Park, love it or hate it, these guys tend to tell some version of the truth in a lot of what they do. Yeah, they just do, yeah. and yeah. they got brutalized by Scientology for this episode. Yeah, like they are, they've been on the verge. They've gotten death threats, but. Season 9, episode 12. In 22 minutes, you will learn what they believe in Scientology. Yeah. The, what, sh- what Sam is recommending is a much more in-depth into what's going on in the real world with yeah. Scientology. But if you want to know about it and get a little laugh. Well, watch. it feels like kind of almost like a Tony Robbins type of thing, too. Like, they go to these events, and it's very much about, like, self-help. Like, we are not, you know, like, we are these spirits, you know, like, we're not, like, these physical bodies just carry us, and we are, like, you know, how do you become the best version of yourself, and it's a lot of self-help. I think Xenu is their alien god's name. Is that what it yeah. is? Um, they, you know, and they, that's the thing, too, is they give a lot, you know, money to charity, they're giving back, and, like, they worked a lot with prison reform with like going to the prison and teaching all these guys you know quote unquote apparently a lot of this was all propaganda and wasn't really true but you know it was just you know to show that they were making the world a better place like that was what was promised is like Scientology is going to make the world a better place you're going to be a better human and your spirit will transcend and so you know I I don't know it, it's we haven't finished it yet but um if you really want to deep dive on it I mean it, and it's a it's a deep rabbit hole it's a deep very rabbit hole. deep rabbit hole. and Leah Remini who like hosts this show you know obviously had been in Scientology and left and um she you know she's on the hunt to like really try and bring them down so obviously it's mostly looking at the negative side of Scientology but we'll have to watch the South Park which tonight. there are a lot of negatives <laughs> I'm yeah. just I'm giving my voice to those that may be out there that there are, I'm sure there's people that have had positives from it. I know. Well, if you are in Scientology or like we're in Scientology, I need you to message me and I need you to call in with a voicemail. Yeah, we need to talk to you. And you can remain anonymous. We won't Or we can interview you. Because apparently like if you like it's crazy like if you you They're know, they will like hunt you down. They and, seem like, to be they seem to be a little more ruthless if you leave. Yeah versus yeah. other religious organizations yeah well that's the thing it's like you really like cannot get out and that's the thing too like once you're out like you are discon like no one in your family anyone who's in scientology can never talk to you again like you are basically dead to them that's one of their strategies let's like yeah. everyone watch it for themselves yeah that's one of their strategies that they use yeah it's just like a crazy quote-unquote religion um from what i'm learning from what i'm learning from what i'm learning okay with that being said, let's get into some weird shit. What do you think, James? Do it's it. time for secret, 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 secret. Reminder, if you want to send us a weird secret, you can call us in too. Speak pipe. That's speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. I'll also put it in the description and you can leave us an anonymous voicemail about up to about a minute and 30 seconds. All right. Are you ready for the first secret? Prepared. Here we go. Hey, Sam. Hey, James. Okay, so this is a double call-in. First of all, for the hoax, do you guys remember the balloon boy? The parents who put, who said that their son got lost in a weather balloon and he floated off into the sky, but really he was just in the attic of his garage? That's the one that comes to mind with me. I really thought there was a boy floating up in the sky. Second, as a nurse, um, I used to work in the ICU, and I remember we were getting a patient from the ER, and as we were moving the patient from the ER stretcher to our bed, he looked at me and my coworker and said, I'm going to die now, and he just coded right there. His you know, heart stopped. He you know, everything. And yeah, we did everything we could to try and get him back. We followed all the protocol we should, and he was ready to go. So that was super crazy. 
Right. That call was a touchdown. Right. Touchdown interception. Drink. Football. Um, so number one, I do remember that was the one I was trying to think of that I was like, how did that go again? I couldn't remember. I just remember like a boy got caught in something that went up in the air. But yeah, it was a weather balloon. Do you remember this? I do not. <gasps> this is new to this me. This was a maybe i don't know maybe it was like 10 15 years ago now but there's this new story that this boy somehow held onto a weather balloon and got taken up into the sky and of course it was a hoax at the end of the day yeah. he was just hiding in the attic but the parents like there was you know kind of proof behind that the parents were involved at the end of the day they were involved were, yeah and we're like you know we're going to make this see it was how an far attention grabbing sc- scheme got it yeah yeah, and that was, I remember because it was all over the news. Like, people really were like, this little boy held on to this weather balloon and it somehow brought him up into the sky and he's like lost in the clouds. Somewhere. He would, human, they could only hold on for so <laughs> long. Know, he would I, drop I, and die immediately. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but I do remember that. And that was like one of the more recent ones that I can remember that made like mainstream news that then everyone was like, oh, yeah, that was oh, obviously hilarious. A um, but the second one. Yeah, that's crazy. She follows the show well. Like, I'm very impressed that she called in with two very relevant On stories: topic. a hoax, and she's and a nurse. A, just to prove a, that, like, nurses, like, I love you so much. Like, it really makes me feel so cool. Um, I love the you know i think i had brought this up before but some of the nurses you know there's a nurse that i follow on tiktok that does like end of life like works in hospital so care. hard and it is crazy like some of these stories like you know i mean i guess we'll all find out eventually how this how the world end or how our lives end. <laughs> not to be morbid but like you know like just being like yeah like it's my time like bye See ya. Yeah, that's crazy Click. statement. That's your last words. Like, yeah. I'm going to die right, now. I'm going to go die. I actually like that. That's good for you. Yeah. Uh, you just I'm going to die off. now. You know what? I'm out of here. See ya. See you on the other it's side. It's like the Irish goodbye. Yeah, you just literally leave the Irish goodbye. Without saying death. goodbye, you're just like. See you later. Um, That is crazy. That's a, Those are some crazy stories. And I always like love uh, a nurse end of life story. Um. Thank you so much. That was a gorgeous, gorgeous voicemail. And yeah, right on topic, which we love. And a nurse, which we also love. Um, All right, James, are you ready for the second one? Prepared. Here we go. Hey, Sam and James, I have a story to share with you. My boyfriend rides a motorcycle and goes for a ride on the weekends, goes to a coffee shop, and then comes home. And this particular day, he was leaving the shop. And, um, backstory, he's been having a rough couple months. And so he's been a little bit more reckless on his bicycle and a man who he assumed was homeless approached him. Uh, but the man was dressed very nicely and asked him very frankly, aren't you afraid to die? To which he answered him honestly, yes. Every day I get on this thing, I'm afraid to die. And the man starts to ask more morbid questions, like, you know, just random morbid questions. And he, you know, he thought it was kind of odd, but he went along with it. And he went to, he said, hold on, let me put something away. He turns around, puts something away. When he turned back, the man was completely gone. Nowhere to be found. There was no way for him to slip into a car or into a, uh, into a building or anything. There he could have he would have seen him and this guy was nowhere to be found so he swears that he had a ghost encounter i think he was being tested by the devil but that's just me Ooh, that's creepy i also want to be like okay can you tell your man to like be careful on the freaking motorcycle because that's like scary if they like you know yeah like so, someone sent someone to be like hey you being careful on that motorcycle you know what do you think about where do you think the man came from and what do you think his intentions were he's either like maybe you know i was thinking you know you said devil but i was thinking like maybe like guardian angel like to be like that's the side i was more on yeah be like hey are you being careful like are you like do you think about you know like don't do that like be careful 
a manifested Maybe. I don't know the energy, you yeah. know, like how the person, you know, the, 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 I don't know what to call it. The ghost. I mean, I think it was either like a ghost, maybe, you know, depending on where he was, like maybe that was a man who also who died on a motorcycle, you know, could have been an old member of his family, like from way, way. Right. Back. Yeah. Being like, yo, be careful. Like, and think it about sounds death like when you're riding like that. It sounds like that they have a good open relationship where they can talk to each other and they understand each other yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And the fact that the boyfriend even answered. No, I think about it all the time. Like he's aware that he's maybe doing something a little reckless. Right. That right. He's being a little reckless. He maybe changed. he's yeah. Again, I th- I think it's more of like yeah, guardian angel. She's like, there to be a little over. supportive of it. That's right. wonderful. Right. But I don't know when you get a message like that when you have someone you know coming down. I would be careful. Wear your helmet. Wear a helmet. Motorcycles scare me. That you know how I feel. I know. James is like terrified of motorcycles. I always like, you know, I see people riding around in the little mopeds and stuff. And there's always like this part of me because you always. The moped yeah. 30, 40 miles an hour on side roads is yeah. one thing. Yeah. I And I, I'm from Wisconsin. Huge motor. Harley Davidson headquarters is in Wisconsin. Yeah. I love people that love motorcycles. You should have all the freedoms in the world. I do think you should wear a freaking helmet. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, definitely wear a helmet, but. Also, just be careful. Don't be reckless. Tell him. Uh, say, slow down, mister. Slow down. But that is a crazy story. Thank you for calling in and leaving that. That's a good one. Does that almost make you believe in ghosts? <laughs> Next secret. <laughs> uh, we're getting there, guys. With these stories, we can eventually get James to admit he believes in ghosts. I think we're going to hear some way more great spooky stories as we get closer as we to get Halloween. Closer to Halloween. Yeah. I know it's it's time you guys it is time um all right you ready for the next one ready here we go sam and james i love your podcast i look forward to it every week and i was really curious to hear your thoughts and opinions on the cute little mummified alien bodies uh that were presented to the congress in mexico earlier this week um I'm of the opinion that they're cute and they're little and they're tiny and adorable. Uh, But I would love to hear from both of you and to hear if you think these are legitimate, if this is just a stunt. uh, What are your thoughts? And also in general, what are your thoughts on aliens? Are they real? Are they among us? Thanks, guys. Yeah, James, are they real? What do you think? I will give you the best answer that I can. Sure. And to us, James. NASA actually chimed in on this after being asked many many times and they didn't want to because in the world of science you're never a hundred percent right that's part of science 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 is curiosity but the other thing that comes with if you claim to be any sort of scientist at all when you have a theory it needs to be put out into the world to be tested by other scientists of like-mindedness and you can be there to watch them test it these this the the government or whoever owns this, right? The mummies or aliens in general? Like, what do you both? About? Anything involved in the world of science and science is an ever changing thing. Science is never a hundred percent correct. Yep. Science is always ready to learn. And but here's the thing: they have not allowed anyone else to go and test or do any. As far as I know, during the podcast, they haven't yep. allowed anyone else to test it. So in no the way, mummies? shape, or yeah, you're talking about the mummies. Yeah. Okay, in no way the the alien mummies or whatever. Okay, well they did test them. Not NASA, not other science people. They tested it and reported. Well, it. this is within the last twenty three hours. I do not. Okay, two tests. And this it. is on your side. You're gonna like this. Okay, good. So for a while, this guy, his name, he comes from Peru. Okay, his name was. Musa, Jamie Musan. Yeah, my guess is it's actual mummies of humans. So for a while, he wasn't letting people do it. He wasn't, he was saying, you know, it'll all come out in time. Well, he finally let them test it and they found llama DNA. <laughs> Simple. So there is a hoax. So it was a hoax. It has been determined that they are not real. Um, and apparently, this same guy has done this three times before. And did it a couple <laughs> of years ago. 
same kind of thing. Said he found mummies. I I don't blame a good marketing scheme. Speaking of hoaxes, unfortunately, it was determined this was a hoax, which it was almost too, like, too good to be true. You know, like, it's like, oh, all of a sudden I found these perfect mummies. Look, it's, you know, it's simple. If you're not willing to put stuff out to let other like minded scientists test the theory. Okay, then what do you right. think about aliens in general, though? I know we've talked about this before, but, w- you know. I told you about a potential win, right? NASA oh, yeah. and the, the uh, Weber tele- Weber John Weber telescope. One, of the, one, the fact that we have this telescope launched into space and how far away it is from Earth yep. was, I watched the documentary on it. It was absolutely amazing, the amount of energy and effort and absolutely like $10 billion dollars that went into this thing. Yep. However, it has detected... And yep. when this thing detects something, it's already been vetted by multiple other science organizations like, yep. uh, I believe, South Africa, England. There's many other NASA like entities that know that are looking at this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. we're not speaking like, oh, one person found it. But there's a compound that as far as our human definition of life goes, that only some form of organic life that we know of can put this out there. Yeah. And it's called uh, dimethyl sulfide. There's the nerdy version. But what, what also they found on there is there's methane and carbon dioxide, which means Where anytime. Where is this? What do you mean? It's way, way, like 120 million light like, years away. Like just floating in space? No, it's a planet. Oh, it's a planet. They found a planet that has this has stuff on there. on the planet. Don't ask me how they know it's on the planet. That's going to be a long answer. I'll I give know, it to you, though. No, we don't Yeah, we can. That. We got lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> so finding these elements existing on a planet, which we already know one of the moons of Jupiter has probably frozen ice below it down there. They haven't found yeah. anything yet. But that's how life most likely started. Sorry, creationists. On our planet, it could have been created like that. But it came yeah. from some form of what we consider water, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they did find these things out there with the Weber telescope, which is unbelievable. Absolutely, really cool finding. When was this recent? It's called an exoplanet. Yeah, very recently. Yeah. So, what do you think about I all the UFO sightings and stuff? Then, what do you have to say about that? Oh, that's a bunch of crap. Oh, you think those are all just fake? I I think that NASA did put out a report that most of what they found of flying saucers are probably some form of of what other flying entities, not necessarily hoaxes, but other government testings and other things like that. <sighs> You're so lame. I know. I'm sorry. You want my honest block. answer? I still believe that they can be wrong. Look, science can be wrong. So yeah, doesn't mean they're right. And I don't think they formally put that out there. I was just more being combative in that statement. But. Yeah, 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 yeah. James doesn't believe in any of that stuff, guys. And I'm really trying to get him on my side because I believe the complete opposite. I believe it's all real. And I believe in like science. <laughs> James Webb Space Telescope. Why James did I not know Webb, my own hello, name? Hello, it's your name. Not John Webb. I should remember that. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm trying to. Five like, days ago. That's oh, how wow. soon they found oh, that. Oh, okay. I knew it was really recent. So it was recent. It was that. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any ghost stories, alien stories, like I need to convince James that all of this is real. The paranormal is real. So if you guys have any of that, just please send them in so we can convince James otherwise. The dimethyl methyl sulfide is emitted by phytoplankton in our oceans. Oh, so that is like the beginning stages of life. But the, yep, exactly. And they also know what it, it would be life. That, I will believe How in aliens. How far away is it? If that exists, I'll believe in aliens. Really? That's the form of life that's provable life on another planet. Yeah. Do aliens most likely exist? Yeah. Yeah. Mathematically, it's almost. But you don't impossible. think they're like on our planet, like looking around? There's, there's a few theories on that. One of them I love is my favorite. What? That beings of that intellect. Yeah. If they were to come here. Yeah. We it pretty much like being like us finding a colony of ants. You just kind of walk over it because we're just really? not up to them. Yeah. If they can actually travel here from how far they would have to travel. Right. These like, are like next level. They've run into other. That that means that they've traveled far enough. They will be they able to found other. find other planets with life. But they see us and it's like, this is nothing. Really? Yeah. That's one uh-huh. theory. Um, Interesting. Another theory is that there have been many. And this is, a, you know, the multiple dimension, multiple galaxy, multiple time, space, continuum, whatever you want to call it. But. That our existence, the universe in theory is 13.8 billion years old, 
that the existence of any life similar to ours is so short. It's such a blip in time, mm. right? Even yeah. one, even millions of years old, yeah, is a minor gl- nothing to thirteen point eight billion years. Right. That yeah, none right, of them have right. existed at the exact same time. Interesting. Those are two kind of other huh. things. Those yeah, are things our you planet's can think about. new compared to the to the universe. Four point five billion years old. That's crazy. It is crazy. There's a the app too. Um, by the way, if you guys ever, you know, want something fun to do with the all your spare time, this is something that we love to do. Sky View is an app that you can like point it up at the sky and it'll tell you it'll oh, label I love the stars. Sky View. And it's so cool because it'll tell you like how far away that star is and it'll be like you you having did you get that from your dad yeah my dad you that was one of the great finds you yeah I love it's really that cool thing. and to tell you how like billions and millions of light years away some of these planets are mm-hmm. and it's like holy shit yeah we're just a blip you know what else is a blip in time <sighs> what the roman empire wow you know it was a Way shorter blip in time what football so literally i'm pretty good that was a good one literally proud of myself um wow so we just kind of went all over the place i mean what a informational episode i'm glad we got the alien call in and i'm glad you knew that i hadn't looked up anything on that's it. what i was waiting to tell you that i was gonna I let knew you go on was, your little i paid no attention to it because i knew rant. it was gonna come out um but yes just another hoax add it to the list um but yeah, that was, those are some great secrets. You guys are amazing. We love all your secrets, paranormal, weird. You know, I, I was trying to keep them paranormal because of our conversation today. But we just love you guys using your ears for this long. I know. We love. Thank you so much for listening and all the support. Make sure you also call us in at SpeakPipe. That's SpeakPipe.com slash weird and proud pod. And also, really quickly, before we leave, um we are going on the road and coming to see some of you guys so if you are in new york city we will be there well we live outside of it but you know what i mean do you have any good like hit the road songs you could sing hit the road me? jerk hit the road james and don't you come back you know that song um october 11th wednesday october 11th will be at i say we like you'll i mean because you'll be there too um we will be at stand up new york in new york city on october 11th we'll also be at chicago's comedy bar in chicago on friday october 20th and we'll be in iowa debunke debunke iowa dubuque 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 Iowa uh, on Saturday, October 21st and the 22nd. Make sure. Oh, wait. I think I messed that up. I'm sorry. We're going to be in Chicago. I'm sorry. October 19th. And they'll be in Iowa the 20th and the 21st. Who's putting on the New York show? Who's hosting what do you mean? it? Someone. Um, I haven't really determined that yet. Why? Oh. You want to host it? I, I thought somebody usually invites you to come. It's your show. It's my show. I thought somebody invited you, and I was like, No, no, no. It's uh, mine. It's all mine. I didn't know if it was Ted Jones or Natalie or whoever. No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. No, it's all me. But there will be a host, but I just haven't determined yet. Um, All tickets are available at samantharamsdale.com slash events. samantharamsdale.com slash events. We can't wait to meet you in person. Send us all the Iowa and Chicago Rex, if you got them. Dubuque. The Dubuque Rex. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> um, we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, we'll see you next week. Love you, weirdos. We love you, weirdos.